What is up bros and broettes, here is a tutorial on how to do a hanging knee raise and we'll go through the common mistakes and why I do not recommend this exercise. Whereas first off, let's get into a quick demonstration of the exercise. Next we get to the execution on how to do the exercise. You're going to use a shoulder or a slightly wider than shoulder width grip. You're going to keep your core tight. You're going to push your feet together. And then you're going to brace your core like you're about to get punched in the stomach. And then you're going to pull down on the bar like you're trying to bend it. You want to keep your knees together throughout the entire movement. Lift your butt up and drive your hips up as high as possible like you're going to knee your chest. Lean back slightly to allow the knees and hips to come up and keep your arms straight, no bending in the elbows. Slowly lower yourself back down, inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down. Here are some common mistakes and why I do not recommend this exercise. In proper form, a lot of people have really bad improper form. They have excessive swinging. You need strong enough grip to hold on to the bar long enough. You they like to swing out their legs and use a lot of momentum when doing this exercise. And they're not controlling the movement and they're not contracting the muscle when they're lifting their butt up. But the main reason is they're unable to maintain grip strength long enough to complete this exercise. You need a minimum of 30 seconds to complete this exercise. And if you're a beginner or overweight, it's going to be hard to hold onto the bar for very long. Plus doing all those movements together. Here are two exercises that I suggest as alternatives. And it's the assisted dip machine knee raise. The concept is still the same when it comes to form, except you're just supported on a dip machine. I do have a tutorial on that and I will link it in the video or down below. Next is the weighted lower ab pull-ins and you can progress in weight with this by holding a dumbbell in between your feet. And when you get more advanced, you can add on more weight. And the last up is just body weight lower ab pull-ins. As a beginner to start things off with, I do have a tutorial on that which I will link in the video and down below. Thanks for watching.